Hi everybody, um, hope you're doing well today. This is uh, the first time that I'm doing this uh, live stream uh, in order to promote the concert that you see on the side here that we're gonna have uh, on November 18th. Some of you might remember we did have it in July and we had so many problems with, uh, uh, with the internet that I hope that now it's gonna be much better. We're using some new software, new hardware. Uh, if you're interested, um, let me know. If it looks good, <laughs> if it sounds good, let me know. Um, but yeah, let's first do a couple of these uh, so that we know everything is working fine. So far, so good, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if I can see the comments yet or um, what's going on there. We are also having a um, live Zoom meeting going on. Uh, let me change to that camera. So this is in the, in the, in the Zoom meeting uh, where everybody can uh, join uh, as live audience in sense of you can ask questions and comment and um, uh, appear on the screen as well. Um, unlike um, on Facebook and on YouTube and on Twitch, uh, you should be able to comment but um, as typing in. So I'm gonna keep this for a little bit. And uh, yeah, every day we're gonna uh, do another song. Uh, from the program. Uh, the program is called Why Are You Gone? It's a translation of Stote Nema, a beautiful Bosnian song that's going to be on the uh, program as well that inspired this whole thing. Um, and what I did, um, actually, let me read a little bit from it. So, um, this program has been awarded a Brooklyn Arts uh, Fund grant to produce a concert inspired uh, by a significant immigrant population from Eastern and Southern Europe throughout Brooklyn. And the program features songs that resonate with major life events, songs that are shared between different nations and the experience of migration, feelings of leaving and longing, uh, from uh, the perspective of immigrants, as well as from the perspective of, you know, the countries where, where we, which we left. Um, the performance has been preceded by a period of musicological and historical research with the goal of curating a program that in, li um, in line with these themes, as well as informing um, the composition of the program's original songs. So there's going to be some original songs as well. So it's um, my hope that such a program will bring together uh, you know, some of the New York City's diverse immigrant communities in a shared cultural experience, especially throughout Brooklyn. Uh, but anywhere around the world, it's possible now to do that, right? <laughs> so um, first song, I'm going to keep these live streams pretty short. Um, and mostly I'm going to share my um, influences and um, yeah, what, you know, what inspired me, what I found. And this first song that's going to be um, in the concert that we're going to perform is really interesting in the sense that um, I was looking for songs in Polish uh, language and Polish songs and I asked a friend who helped me immensely um, to um, kind of introduce me to songs with those in line of the themes that I talked about. And then I just went into, you know, YouTube dive when I uh, found more and more songs that are super interesting. But then uh, I played this one song and it really stood out because it was I recognized it from Croatian. So uh, then I looked further into it and I found out that the, the same song is actually originally Czech. I thought it was Croatian. Uh, so um, in 
in Polish is v mojim ogrudecku. And let me see. In my garden. That, that's what it means. In my garden, there is a rose growing. Mary, water my horse for me. I can't, I won't. I'm afraid of the horse. I'm afraid of the horse since I'm so young. So in Croatian, it's ja ga ne napojem, ja se konja bojem. Everybody will know that. Ja se konja bojem jer sam malena. And then I realized it's originally Czech. So we did kind of an arrangement of all three uh, versions, and it's interesting how each song, uh, each version is very, um, uh, transports the, maybe the vibe of the, the particular nation, those people, because with, it's the same song, right? But with the uh, English, uh, with the uh, with Polish words, it's like this. You know, typical Polish. Very. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I'm gonna play you the the originals. But then, in I just wanted to uh, compare the, the the three. Then in Czech, it's. Pod našima okni teče vodička. You know, na pomjenja bila meho konička. It's all uh, happy and, and major. And then in Croatian, there's actually two versions. One that I um, know from which, which my mother sang, which is a ballad. And then the one that it's commonly known that's a typical Slavonian song so let me show you first the part of the croatian one hope you find it interesting as i did okay so let's play let me know if you can hear this <laughs> Let me try it here on the other computer, but now you're gonna just hear it probably. Oh, just give me a second. This is Polish. Okay, I have to find the Croatian one. Just give me a second. Ja se konja boim, which means I'm afraid of the horse. All right, we're here. So. <laughs> Let me start it from the beginning. Let me know if you can hear it, okay? I cannot believe that I'm playing this. <laughs> this is something that you could hear in like, um, it's loud, okay. It's something that people play in, um, Wedding parties. All right, I got And so on. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So that was the typical Croatian version that you would hear in the in in um, in in uh, what do you call it in uh, wedding parties. And usually, when people get really drunk, that song is uh, on the repertoire. So um, let's listen to the Polish version, the one we chose to begin the concert with. It's very, very different than this one. Let's listen. Matko, matko, Jaszko idzie! But it's really the same song. This is the fun. Let's 
Okay, I'm gonna stop it here. <laughs> and see, it's the same song, but very, very different vibe. Minor and uh, strong, Polish, Polish-like, very strong. So now compare it to the Czech, the original. Uh, let me just find it, give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong place. Ah, okay. Pod nasima oknite se. It's crazy how it's the same song, but it really uh, transmits the vibes of the nations and the language. Because, yeah, this is Czech. Like, there is no, no uh, doubt about it. It's all major, all happy. Let me show you another version. Because this is a children choir singing it. This is another Czech version. You have to hear the, the chorus. I'm so sorry you can't see the videos. They're brilliant. Okay. I'm gonna turn it down. But yeah, so the challenge with this song was putting everything together uh, because they're very different uh, in the vibes, in rhythm, and everything. And then one thing that kept um, that I kept thinking about was the Croatian version that I played you in the beginning. That was not the one that I remembered. So I actually asked my mom to sing it for me. And she's like, why do you want me to sing that song? Uh, she couldn't believe it that I wanted to, to, to add it to this <laughs> program. But then she sang it and I, I remember how I was really, really touched by it because she sings it as a ballad. So it's like... Mm -hmm. So this is more like a, the Czech the original version, but then she sings, On je mene, milko po sve zamami. And then it's completely different. Zamamilo me je, crno oko tvoje, crno oko So that's completely now different. Um, so yeah, it was. We try to figure out how to do it. 
and we decided to start with the Polish in the minor. And then go into a major. The Czech version. And then end with the Croatian ballad. Pod moim prozorom cvate and uh, yeah, Matt is going to play the uh, start, I think, with the bow uh, on the double bass that brings the heavy, heavy, you know, uh, sound of the Polish version. And then he's going to change into hits for uh, the Czech version, the happy version, and then back uh, to kind of play the second voice, because in Croatian music, it's so often to have the thirds that are, you know, the harmony that... That's typical Croatian, so we're going to end it like that, with uh, two voices, one voice and one um, bass voice. Yeah, so that's that. Um, I hope you find, found it interesting. I know what I need to prepare for the next time. I want you to be able to see the videos that I'm showing and um, <laughs> the, the inspiration because uh, I think they're very entertaining and I'd like to share it with you. So that's one thing I need to learn, but uh, I'm glad this is working so far. And um, as you can see, uh, there is the um, uh, announcement for the new concert. The concert uh, in duo, the serious thing, not me sitting by the piano and just talking about things uh, that inspire me, but the music, the real thing, it's gonna happen on Wednesday, November 18th from the same place here in our basement in Brooklyn. And I hope you can make it. If you want to be the live audience, uh, I suggest you uh, join the Zoom call. Let me show you. Yes. So we have Carol here in the Zoom call. Hi, Carol. <laughs> uh, and um, I'm going to be doing these live streams every weekday, talking about different songs um, for... Um, and, and just to go through the whole program. I see that the chat is working as well. So thank you guys for, you know, thumbs up and, and, and claps and, and for the feedback about the sound. Uh, I hope this is really going to work. This is looking promising. So thank you for being a part of this. Sign up for the Zoom if you want or not. You can just watch on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. And I'm going to stop this now and I'm going to re-watch the whole thing to see what was happening. So once again, thank you for being here. And uh, bye. See you tomorrow at 2 or any other day at 2 weekday. And if not, um, see you hopefully on Wednesday, November 18th for the whole performance. Bye.